What's good dipshits? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how the insides of Bubba fish work or largemouth loo or the rockfish or any other fish in between. Um, these are, I'm going to attempt to show you how to fix it. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to work. Um, but yeah, these are really shitty design, but I'm just going to be showing you how to fix it temporarily at least. So yeah. Also, I am filming in 60 FPS, so let me know if you like it more or less um yeah so i'll get on with it now so i'll explain why this mechanism doesn't work in a little bit but first i'm just going to show you before i fix it um i did originally when i got it the head didn't move and the tail didn't either but i had the tail working for a while but that gear just completely gave out um i used one that was a similar size so it wasn't exact which caused it just to break even more and the head started clicking again after I fixed it and the mouth clicks right now. So I'm gonna come up with a temporary solution for those until I can buy new gears. But um, yeah, so here's how it works right now. Okay, so now that I have the plaque open, um, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside. It is nothing like a billy bass. Um, and something I actually really like about these is the way that it has wire harnesses. So you can just unplug the motors. And then, um, then you can just separate the two ends of the plaque. It's a really nice design. Um, and I already had the tail disconnected because it would just make really loud clicking sounds. It wouldn't even move. But... Um, yeah, so I'm going to be showing you how to open these up and get inside the mechanism. It's actually really simple. Um, you just need to know what you're doing. So, yeah. Fish off of the plaque. Um, I can, I'm just going to show you what to do next. So, uh, make sure you remember how this fabric is connected. Um, it kind of goes over the corners. It's not too hard to figure out. I actually think I glued it. Um, yeah, I did. But that'll just come off easily. Um... So once you get all that off, so yeah, once you get all the fabric off, please do not cut the skin because it'll completely ruin the fish. It's actually really easy to get inside of these. Um, there's screws on this mechanism right there and right there. This is the mouth mechanism, of course. Uh, actually, no, there's four of them. So you're just going to take those screws out and then you can just slide the rest of the mechanism out. So I'll show that in a second. All right, this is going to be really hard to show with one hand, but now that you have all the screws out, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this, but you can just kind of slide the whole thing out. So I'll just show it once it's halfway. All right, so now you can just kind of pull it out. There you go. So that's how it looks once it's outside of the mechanism or once it's outside the skin. Sorry, the mouth. I think I'm just going to leave it for right now. So I'm just going to show how to repair the inside of this for right now. Um, you can just take the foam off, just glue it back once it's done, or once you're done fixing it. And so yeah, what you do, actually I'm gonna get the tripod really quick. Okay, um, sorry about the background noise, my family's vacuuming. I guess they decided, oh, Aiden's making a video, perfect time to vacuum. So uh, yeah, now that you have this, um, you can just slide that out, slide this out too. Okay, actually I didn't even notice that. Um, the tail is actually really easy to snap, so try not to do that. Um, you can just, you can just use a really small screwdriver or an Allen wrench and just kind of push it through gently. Oh, wait, my bad. Other side. Cause that's a round side. It's not going to come out of there. So you just have to push it through. Yep. And you should see it just kind of pops through like that. Whole thing should come out. And then the tail piece pops off. Make sure you keep all these pieces together because you don't want to lose any of these. Um, here, I'll zoom out a little bit. Uh, now you can just unscrew this. Okay, so once you have all those screws out, um, you kind of want to pull gently. You don't want these gears to go flying everywhere. Um, so yeah, just kind of sep separate the two ends. And then you should see it kind of starts to come apart. And there you go. That is the inside of a largemouth loo mechanism. Um, probably not what a lot of you expected, but um, so the reason why this fails is because 
if you saw before, these don't have springs. So the motor is just running forwards and backwards, which causes these gears to strip out. I think it's, huh, I think it's, um, I believe it's the middle gear that usually tends to strip or the bottom one, I can't be sure. And then it's the same thing for this end and for the mouth mechanism, it's all exactly the same. So one solution for this is taking some white lithium grease or electric grease or Vaseline and just drenching the gearbox in it, like put it everywhere. It will slow the gears down, but it also will make them not click. Again, you could obviously replace these, but since the coronavirus and you can't buy anything international, it'll take a few months. So I'm just gonna do this temporarily because there is a lot of gears you can buy. And actually, I'll show you right here. Um, as you can see, there's a ton of them in here, but none of these are the right size. Uh, that's where I got um, this gear from, I'm pretty sure. That's the one that always strips out. And that lot on eBay, it tends to have a few of those. So if you buy that, you can just swap the original gear out. But obviously, like I said, you can't really buy those right now. So greasing, it would probably be the only solution right now. Okay, so now obviously you have it apart. And if you guys are wondering, the tail motor is all the way down there. Um, actually, no, I'm sorry. That's the head motor. This, this is the tail. That's the head at the bottom. You can see that worm gear and then it makes all these other gears spin. So, um, I was expecting this one to have like all the teeth completely stripped out, but they're really not that bad. I just, I think if I grease it, it's not going to completely stop the clicking, but it'll help temporarily just as long as I don't activate it, which I don't plan on it. Um, there is no permanent solution unless you swap it with Billy Bass parts, which doesn't normally work right. Um, cause these don't have springs, Billy Basses do. So yeah, I'm just gonna grease all this. It's not really, it's not the best thing you can do, but it's all you can right now. You should be good to go. You just kinda put it back together, line everything up. All right, so, also, I'm sorry about the mess. i just been fixing a lot of shit, so it's all kind of all over the place, but since um, the tail is straight on the plaque, like, it kind of comes off, um, this, let's see, okay. So, it goes on like this. So, it's just above that little stopper piece, and then you can put that, put the pull in like that. All right, so there you go. That's how the tail goes on. Now for the head, um, it's actually a lot easier. You just kind of pop it in like that, like that. And then the bottom. All right, so now what you're gonna wanna do is put the foam back where it was. So the top piece, the bigger piece goes on top. Somehow I think like that. And the bottom piece goes right there. So I'm just gonna hot glue the foam back into place and then I'll go from there. So now that your main body mechanism is done, I'm gonna show you how to do the mouth. Um, so the eye sockets aren't really removable. Actually they are, that's a fat lie. Oh no, they're not. So the eye sockets aren't really removable and unfortunately this one was already broken. So this one hasn't broke, thank God. So you can, I don't really have to pop that eye out, but um, you just unscrew this from the side and from the back. And like the same thing we did before, I'm gonna take the Allen wrench and I'm just gonna pop it through here so you can get the square shaft to pull out. And you can take the jaw pieces off. This is actually really weird. It's all one piece. It's actually probably a better design. Um, but yeah, so now I'm gonna unscrew it. All right. Um, now you can just separate it. And yeah, it's exactly the same as the other mechanisms. Um, same gear layout, same shitty gear that's cracked and missing all the teeth. Um, that's why these always click and why they eventually just stop working completely because the worm gear spins back and forth. Then this gear loses all of its teeth and then they just stop completely. 
So, um, the mouth did still work, of course, but I'm not sure how much longer it has. So I'm going to try and find a gear with the same amount of teeth. If I can't, I'll just, um, grease it again. Hopefully it should stay a little bit longer. But yeah, this is exactly why all these mechanisms fail. And of course you can get replacements, like I said, about five times, but, um, not with the Chinese virus in play. So yeah, all the other gears are fine for the most part. They're just really dry. Yeah. See, those are perfectly fine. Uh, this one is, of course, I don't see how that one would break, but yeah, so I'm just going to try and find a replacement or just grease it up and I'll let you know what I do. Okay, so I could not find a gear that was the same size. Um, every one of them either had more teeth or had teeth on top or just the hole was too small or too big. So I'm just going to be greasing it like I did with the last gearbox. Um, hopefully it works okay. I'm not really expecting it to work great, but I'm just expecting it to move a little slower and not click as much. Okay, so now you're just going to clean off the mechanism with all the extra grease on there. Something actually I learned, so you can just use this foam pieces to just wipe off all the grease if you don't have like a towel. It's kind of stupid, but I do it anyway. Um, now you can just screw everything back together and just pray that it works. Okay, so now that the gearbox is screwed back together, also, I'm sorry about all the jump cuts. I'm just really not good at making videos like this, so I hope it's somewhat watchable. Um, but yeah, once you have the gearbox back together, you're just gonna wanna put the mouthpiece on like that, and then you grab the, um, the metal pole, and you just kinda slide it through. Make sure it's lined up all the way. You actually wanna make sure it's closed too. So then you just kinda push it through like that. And you can just use the back end of a screwdriver. And then there you go. That's how you get the mouthpiece back together. So yeah, um, that's how you do the mouth. And yes, I know you don't have to fucking remind me. I know the eye is broken. Um, but it doesn't really affect it. You can't notice it that much, at least. So it turns out I'm a little bit retarded. Just a little bit, um... I don't think I lined the gears up in, right in the mouth just because I can only hear buzzing sounds. But the tail and head actually run really smooth even without the skin on. So I'm going to have to go in there and just reline these gears even after all the grease I put in there. So wish me luck. Okay, so a few hours later, I had to take a break because I just did not feel like doing this. Um, I fucked around with the mouth mechanism. I had a shit ton of grease. Um, it doesn't click while the skin's off, but... I get the feeling that it's going to eventually just because the way the teeth is the gear is missing like five teeth so I took the speaker wire off too because it was way too loud but yeah here it is for right now see it's not very loud either um yeah I might add a little bit more I'm not really sure but for right now, it runs really smooth. I'm not sure how the tail's gonna work either, but hopefully it moves a little bit. So that's the progress on it so far. Um, I'll update you guys once I'm getting the skin back on. So once you have it, all the mechanisms fixed up, now you just wanna line the fabric up. Um, I did test it. The mouth still does click, but it's not nearly as bad. And um, the tail still doesn't move, of course, because the gear is just missing way too many teeth. Um, so I will have to try and find a replacement, but for right now, oh, that peg's actually missing. I didn't even notice that. Um, for right now, you just have to line all the fabric back up and then, yeah, that's basically it. Okay, I lied. Um, it actually works perfectly. Um, I got all the wires back. I just have to connect the speaker wire, but um, the tail moves now. I, it's still you can still hear it clicking but i thought that i don't i didn't think it would work anymore just because how loose it was but um the mouth works as well too and the head doesn't click anymore because sometimes when i go down it would start to click but it's not long before this just the whole thing just starts falling apart again but it's definitely better for right now so yeah it does click but it's like it's not even close to as bad as it was before um but yeah, I'm really happy with the results. I hope this video helped you guys.
um i will do one demo before the video ends with all the wires connected and everything so yeah So I didn't really get to do an outro for the video, but um, I really hope this helped you guys. Um, it was fun to make, and if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment. It would have worked better if I had better batteries in it because they were really starting to run low. That's why the mouth sticks at the end, but it didn't stop the clicking completely, but it did for the most part. So um, yeah, like I said, I hope this helped. Any questions, just leave a comment, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.